How's it going, everybody? It is time to play some Geb. And we're up against a Chalk. Now, for those that don't know, Geb has gotten buffed. And I was hoping to fight a Squishy God because his buff is actually really good against Squishy Gods. But we are up against Chalk. Um, but anyways, his buff is now Geb Alt actually has base damage on his ultimate, scaling up to 650. Um, or 630, excuse me. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna play some Geb. We're gonna go Bumpus Hammer. It's insane on him. We're probably gonna go Breastplate 2. We'll be overcapped to cool down late game, but that's all right. Uh, go Sprint to get out of the rain. But anyways, yeah, Geb Ultimate used to do 35% of, uh, current HP to enemy gods. And quite honestly, a lot of times you would ult them when they're at quarter health and it just wouldn't do anything. But if you ult them when they're full health, they're just gonna leave the fight, right? So it wasn't, it was all right in duel, you know? But now that it has base damage, you can actually finish them off with the ult. Or if you use it when they're low health, it's actually going to do damage. Like, I think before <laughs> before the buff happened, I had a fight with Geb and Duel where I actually got, like, 20 damage with his ultimate. <laughs> but, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to hopefully try to get something. Anyways, we're going Bumpus Hammer. We're going to transition our build into auto attack. Looks like he's starting at blue buff. We are playing on east coast again in hopes of better matchmaking, but we'll see. I mean, I have to play a little bit on both servers to see which one's better. Get our three. Let's go hit him. Oh, I missed. I can't really hit him again, so let's just leave. Use a potion. I have most of his health, actually. He just used his wave clear on me. I'll be good to clear a little bit. If I get my two up in time, I can kill him. Oh, but he's, he's healing. He's healing. I cannot kill him anymore. That's all right. We're playing for late game. We Geb does not... His early games, it's okay. Okay at best. Um, all right, let's clear this wave now. He's going for my blue. All right. Uh, but Geb really shines in the late game with Bumpus Hammer because his auto cancels are some of the best in the game. Like, you can alt, auto attack, auto attack, two, auto attack, one, auto attack, three, auto attack, and you've just hit Bumpus Hammer four times, and then you're going to get your abilities back again, so you can do it again, you know? So it's, it's just really good. Um, I am hoping Chalk doesn't go too tanky of a build, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, either way, we're going to go Bancroft into either Breastplate or Demonic. Um, in one of those orders, or those items in some order. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know Chalk, so I, apparently Chalk's rain doesn't reapply the slow. So when I cleansed myself with the three uh, with my shield... <laughs> when I cleansed myself with the shield, uh, I was no longer slowed, even though I was still in the rain. That's cool. It's pretty low. I mean, so am I, though. We're just trying to get through the early game, you know? We don't really have kill potential until we get Bancrofts and then one other item, I feel like, whether that's Demonic or Breastplate. Most likely Breastplate. Now, if Chalk went Mannequins, I would have wanted to get some wards once Steven King starts spawning, which is going to be in like a minute. But uh, he did not. Also, I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little weird. I've got um, just allergies. Kind of bad. Okay, he's got his transcendence. I've heard transcendence, it got buffed, but I've heard it's bugged. And it's not actually giving the additional power it should be when it's maxed. But I don't know if that's true or not. Bumba's hammer is, uh, or Bumba's dagger is bugged right now. All right, he might kill me here. Yeah, that's okay. That's all right. <clears throat> yeah, Bumba's dagger is actually bugged right now. 
Uh, it's not actually giving the power it's supposed to when you first buy it. And that's why we're not starting with it, even though it did get buffed. Your middle tower is under attack. But once they fix that, it might be worth starting, just so Geb can kill buffs fast and stuff. Oh, did he take my blue buff? That's really bad. Yeah. Oh, no. it's uh, It just hasn't spawned yet. Okay, cool. I need to get on top of those timers. I'm hoping he goes for red buff and not my blue. That's what I'm hoping for. Because right now I I need to cool down a little bit. Alright, he is going for this. Darn, it's kind of close. Unfortunately, my cooldowns are really bad right now. Alright, he is skipping defense. So, uh, yeah, he's going to keep doing a ton of damage. But if he dives me or something, I'll be able to kill him. Like, I think once we get Breastplate, we'll be able to fight him a little bit more because we'll have our shield more. And that'll help with, uh, you know, dealing with this damage. Uh, let's put another point in our two. Our ultimate doesn't really get big scaling until, like, level three, level four. I'm mostly going to be using it for the CC. Damn, he does damage. He does big damage. And he's got a lot of cooldown as well. And that's how we do it with the Geb combo. Uh, very important if you rewatch that. When I ulted, I did not use my two right away. I waited until he was no longer CC'd. And then I used it. And the reason for that uh, is to keep the CC chain going as long as possible. And because the longer he's done, the longer he's in my tower, the more damage I'm getting with my autos. Uh, yeah, there's, there's no reason to use your two right away after your ult. You want to wait until the very last moment. Wow, that was actually, that was incredible. I was hoping to get something like that because uh, that's the best thing you can do on cat, to be honest. In late game with Bumba's Hammer, it's actually pretty insane. Oh, he's just... He's just straight up... <laughs> he's just straight up going for it, man. Might be able to kill him. Depends on if he teleports or not. <clears throat> yeah, my sprint's not actually as useful as I thought it would be because I I can cleanse his slow. Alright, we're gonna do it again. There we go. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh let's put a point in our one. I do always put an extra point in the shield a little bit early for additional, just the additional, you know, shield. But I think we're good for now to start leveling up the, the one a bit. Got red buff, that's good. All right, now we're going to recall. And like I said before, we are going to go in auto attack build. Uh, auto attack Geb is generally the best way you want to build him. And ooh, do we want a blink? I think a blink. Sunder would be good as well, but I think I need a blink to chase him when he uses his one and two over the walls, where he teleports over walls. <clears throat> but yeah, auto attack Geb is just generally better in a dual setting. Uh, if you go mage Geb, You'll do a lot of damage, but then once your cooldowns are down, you've got nothing. Geb's auto attacks, they, they slap, man. That Sunder's gonna suck against my shield. Again! That's so good, man. That's so good. He's skipping defense. That's, that's why I can do that so well. Uh, let's put another point in our three. Yeah, his Sunder kind of 
counters our shield, but that's all right. Let's go take more, uh, more of these, these things, the minis. All right, now we have, well, actually, okay, never mind. I was going to say, if he's not even going to get defense, Demonic Rip, we could just go straight into a Hecate or Telekines. But, uh, no, he is getting defense now, so Demonic's still working. Oh, I was trying to hit him. <laughs> Do a decent amount of damage. And always counter alt like that, which is great. Oh, nice. Now, if he got his teleport off and he was able to teleport over the wall. Um, I would not have been able to chase him until my one was up because the minions were there and they were shooting at me and I would not have been able to blink. So it was, it was good that I got that. I was a little bit worried. Okay, we should recall. We're on a roll. Okay. So I would like to get a... What do I want? Next, I think we want just more auto attack in general. More auto attack. Going into either a Telkans or a Kate. He has a lot of power, so Kate is nice. Or Heke, however you want to say it. Alright, we might be dead here. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Used his abilities incorrectly? Hold on. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna use my. I was waiting for my two to come up because because he's so. Uh, he only has this defense item, which isn't a big defense item. I actually would have been able to turn and kill him with my full Bancroft's passive there. All I had to do was alt and then auto cancel with all my abilities. And yeah, we would have been able to kill him, especially with the shield. Uh, but I was too late to shield there when he blinked. I wasn't expecting it. Ah, uh, dropped the ball a little bit on that. But that's all right. It happens. Just letting you guys know my thought process. I could have, of course, blinked away. Uh, but that wasn't what I was trying to do. Whoops. Okay, we are going to ward uh, Demon King pretty soon. If we get another kill, we get his tower for sure. Also, with an auto attack build on Geb, uh, taking Demon King is actually possible. So that's good. That's good because a lot of times on a Guardian, you can't take Demon King and it sucks because you just have no pressure in that regard. But nope, here we're fine. Um, once we are level 18, we will stop buying items to get Bumbo's Hammer. Looks like he's going double defense. That's kind of expected on Shock. And it's all right. We should get a Toxic Blade, actually. For anti kill for anti-heal purposes. All right, he's going for another buff. He's actually ahead of us right now, which kind of sucks. All right, let's just back right now. Nothing is up, and I can't get to his blue buff in time to contest that. Um... Let's go Hecate over Telekines, if only because I don't have, like, a crazy amount of power right now. So Telekines wouldn't even hit that hard. However, Hecate, he went a Transcendence build, so lowering his power by a percentage would be, would be pretty huge. Light sprint here, actually. Oh man, he's 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 get, getting problematic. Ah, oh, this is problematic. Okay, 
He's a little bit too tanky to deal with at the moment. <clears throat> now, is he going for Demon King? He is. He is indeed. All right, I can I can take it. I can steal it. No, I did it too early. Oh, that's so bad. And now we're fighting in the rain. I had to ult first, otherwise he would have canceled my one with his uh, ultimate. We're still probably dead, so we need to clear this wave. Yeah, we're still dead. Most we can do is try to distract him as long as possible. Oh, man. That blink onto Demon King looked so good. I thought... Oh, whoops. I accidentally hit something on my desk. I thought I got it. Um, and I guess it was still at like 1 HP, and then I tried autoing it, and I hit Chalk instead. Oh, no. This is this is bad. If if we lose Phoenix here, um, we can still win. But it, it's, it's generally pretty bad. I'm also going to get a Tier 1 Toxic Blade, but... And then we need to start saving for Bubba's Hammer. Dang, he's tanky with only two defense items. I probably should have went Toxic Blade over uh, Hecate. That's all right. Okay, he's just going for it. I thought he was going to back off, and I didn't realize he was just going to give his life for it, which is bad for me, because that means he can just do that again, and it's game over. So, I need to get to level 20 right now, but there's no way I can do that. Oh, no, I didn't I didn't realize he was going straight. Like, I thought he was going to back off once I got him to half health, and he just kept committing to it, because I obviously didn't want to risk myself dying. Just most players don't do that. And now my Titan's so low that if he just goes for it, uh, it's over. If that happens, hey, I mean, I played pretty damn good early game. And I made mistakes, so it's, uh, you know, I, I will I'll accept that. But I'm still going to fight it out till the very end. All right, I have to buy this item. Because I know he's going straight for my tight, right? Um, normally... Okay, no, we... we... We pause for him. That'd be messed up. <laughs> That'd be messed up to take the win just because he DC'd. Um, okay, here's what I'm doing. I bought Toxic Blade because if he does decide to rush my Titan, right, then I can I can stop him. I can um, I can basically just keep hitting him with auto, slow him down, maybe alt him, get him down to really low health where he just dies. Um, however, if I just didn't spend my gold and waited for Bumba's Hammer. Uh, then I'm not level 20. I'm not going to be able to successfully defend. Or it's a lower chance of successfully defending. So kind of weighing my odds. Um, it is kind of unfortunate that I'm not going to be able to buy Bumba's Hammer right at level 20. But oh well. I do hope he comes back because I, I wanted uh, to see if we could defend here or not. Uh, either way, you know. Just because this has been an insane game up until this point. Uh Looks like he might not come back. Let's see. I waited for him. I w I do have to clear the fire wave. Like if I don't, then my Titan dies. But I don't. I don't want to take his Phoenix or anything. I let's just. I just want to see if this is possible to defend this. Let's see. Come on, come back, Chalk. Come back. I know you're probably going to go straight for my Titan, but honestly, this was an insane game. Come on, Shock, you got another two minutes. Well, now I'm level 20, but again, I do have to kill these minions, otherwise my Titan dies. And my Phoenix didn't come up, so it's just a completely different scenario than if he would have uh, not left. Oh, uh, but no, it looks like the Chalk's not coming back. Oh, man, that's unfortunate. But hey, uh, this this game had some insane moments. Uh, I still think it's a good game overall. What was most likely to happen, to let, let the scenario play out? What was most likely to happen was that he would go straight for my Titan, and... I would be unable to kill him before he kills my Titan because it's so low, right? So 
That's what's most likely to happen. I probably would have lost. But there was a chance at a hype save with some weird auto cancels because he doesn't have beads and with my ult. And I really wanted to try for it. Um, if we got a successful defend and my Phoenix came up, I think it would have been a guaranteed win from that point forward because it would have got Bumpus Hammer, which is insane on Gav. But with that, the game's going to end now. If you guys enjoyed watching, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and yeah, we're, we'll just go to the lobby screen, I guess. Yep, there it is. Uh, I was rooting for him to come back. I, like, it would suck to lose the game like that, but it it would have been... Like, I, I really wanted to try to defend. I mean, I, I paused for him. I, I, tr I tried. Uh, it was a good game overall. I can't know what would have happened, but most likely he would have killed my type. But oh well. GG's. I appreciate y'all uh, watching. Uh, I still think this game was good overall because of all the cool moments. And yeah, let me know if you guys want uh, me to play other gods. And then also what you think of the get buff. Because the get buff, I think, is pretty insane late game. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time.